Okay. So this is William. He's 72 year old. He's injured his left forearm with a circular saw. He's got quite a large, almost circumferential injury to the upper forearm um, with bone visible, suspected open fracture. Right, some morphine for you here, okay? Oh, you're good. I hurt myself. We know, don't you worry, we're going to get you. What actually happened? I went to cut a bottle by a bloody grinder fell off the table, neck, tried to catch the grinder and then cut my arm up. Oh, God. So I was bloody careful. If you've got very significant injuries, there's absolutely no guarantee that we'll be able to fix those things to 100% where they were. And if the limb is so badly injured and the blood loss is so significant, then the patient might lose that limb. Oh, 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 hey. It was in severe pain. Can I bro, you tear him eye? It was a Namos pain. My wife was looking after William. He's my brother. Name her what arms. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of muscle damage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's some um, uh, radiographer here. William, we're just going to x-ray your arm just now, OK? Oh. It was a bloodbath, a bloodbath. We had to wash the flare in the kitchen three times to get the stains out. Well, that's what family's for, helping you out the good times and the bad times and the ugly times. William? Oh. This oh. is Ross here to see you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. No, I'm not. At least you're in the right place, anyway. Oh. Once you start to get the medication working in, that pain will just fade away. Oh, that's sounds good to be done. It's murder. Aye, oh, aye, I can quite believe it. I can quite believe it. That's quite, a, quite an x-ray, isn't it? CT angio left lower arm looking for ulnar artery damage. There's a fracture. Oh, to you, the, oh, this exactly. bone here. Yeah, yeah. This bone is called the ulna bone, and there's multiple fractures all the way along that. Oh, yeah. Along with that, there's damage to muscles, maybe nerves, oh. and maybe some blood vessels as well. Yeah. He's going to go for a scan of this um, blood vessel, oh. make sure that's intact. So if we've got concerns that a patient has an injury to a significant artery, we have to do something called a CT angiogram. Today we're going to give you an injection of contrast so you so they're uncomfortable, right? right? Put a contrast dye through their veins. If you've got contrast dye that stops abruptly or you can see it leaking out, then you've got an injury to an artery. If the blood supply is not getting to the limb, the limb will be starved of oxygen, and ultimately the, the, the limb will then will then die. It's all that artery is compromised. So the tape is out to nothing. A major artery in William's arm is damaged. Looking at the CT scan, I suspect there's a damage to one of the arteries towards the tail end of it. So it's going to need fixed in, in theatre. Um, might not be a completely straightforward operation. Oh dear, oh dear. You take it for granted, like, I had to relearn the time of shoelaces. Right, we went on, which I must admit, it was a big puzzle <laughs> until I saw it done on YouTube. Right, see, like, I've got a lot of swelling. The whiter skin is the piece they took out my leg. I've got to go to physiotherapy, trying to exercise my fingers for a normal standard of life. But 
Og det er jo positivt at børe. Det må jo også være noget af det, ikke? 